If you think climate talks achieve nothing, have a listen. That's 198 nations applauding a deal where rich, polluting countries compensate poor ones for losses like floods, fires and crop failures caused by global warming. A huge win for the United Arab Emirates hosting COP28, but major tensions lie ahead like this. We must look for ways and ensure the inclusion of the role of fossil fuels. That's the UAE, a major oil producer keeping its promise to inject pragmatism on fossil fuels into these talks. One strategy to deliver it is injecting carbon dioxide under the ground. 70 miles from the summit in the mountains of Fajira, a fan is sucking CO2 out of the air, dissolving it in seawater and pumping it into rocks that have been naturally absorbing carbon for millions of years. These seams are made of calcite. When carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it gets into these rocks and it's locked up there permanently. What this project is trying to do is accelerate that very slow process, storing carbon dioxide that there's too much of in the atmosphere permanently in rocks like these. Sounds simple, only it isn't. First, it's pricey, currently around $1,000 to bury a tonne of carbon this way. And we'd need to be sucking up tens of billions of tonnes each year if fossil fuel firms, like the ones sponsoring this project, want to use it as a way to keep selling oil and gas. The world will probably need technologies like this, and oil majors might be best placed to deliver them. But campaigners are wary. My biggest fear is that the interests of the fossil fuel industry, they are prioritised about the interests of humanity. And the only acceptable thing that the fossil fuel industry needs to do right now is to allow for a just and equitable phase out of fossil fuels. The hosts will work hard to dispel that suggestion and they'll be subject to gentle diplomacy by eco-influencers. King Charles greeted the UAE's ruler ahead of addressing the summit. More heads of state are on their way, kicking off decisive and potentially divisive climate talks. Tom Clark, Sky News, Dubai.